there friends, it's Ashley here from the Loopy Lamb and the LoopyLamb.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the toes on my Trevor Triceratops crochet pattern that you can find on my blog. To follow along you're going to have to have rounds one through four of the leg pattern completed which I have here and you can see that we're using two different colors of worsted weight yarn. Now I've started with round five of the foot which is where we're going to start doing our toes and I've got my first uh, eight crochet stitches, uh, single crochet stitches completed here and I'm just about to finish my last stitch but per the instructions I'm going to need to change my colors. So I'm going to grab my yarn here in my second color and I'm going to yarn over and use the last yarn over of that stitch there to change colors. Okay so now I'm going to drop that first color and I'm going to pick up the second and so now we're going to work under both loops and we're going to create a popcorn stitch. Now for this pattern the popcorn stitch is four double crochets into the same stitch. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the next stitch and I would advise carrying the first color behind your stitch here so that way you can pick it up easily in the next uh, step. So we're going to yarn over, pull up a loop, you should have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the first two, and that's your first double crochet completed. And now we're going to do that three more times so that we have four double crochets in the same stitch. Now when I'm, I've got the first part of my last double crochet completed, now right before I complete this stitch, I'm going to drop my color that I'm using and I'm going to pick up the second color that I'm using and I'm going to use the last yarn over here to finish the stitch. Okay now now that that is done I'm going to pull the loop up a bit so I don't lose my working loop and I'm going to take my crochet hook and I'm going to insert it through the from front to back through the first double crochet. Then I'm going to take that working loop and I'm going to place it onto my hook. I'm going to pull it so it's uh, we don't have too much slack there in the yarn and I'm going to pull the working loop through the first stitch and that's what creates the popcorn and it's going to pop it out. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through that loop to create a chain one. Then we're going to work through the back loop only in the next stitch and single crochet and we're going to do that a second time. So again, back loop only, single crochet. But when we finish, we're about to finish that stitch, we're going to switch over and we're going to bring in our new color to change to the toe color. So then we're going to work into the next stitch under both loops and we're going to place five, oh, sorry, goodness, four double crochets into that stitch. Now just keep in mind that before we finish that last double crochet we're going to be changing colors. So I've got two double crochets, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-twenty-five, thirty-twenty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, then again we're going to pull that yarn up so we don't lose our loop. Insert your hook from front to back through the first double crochet that you created and we're going to place the working loop onto your hook and then pull that loop through the first stitch. Then we're going to yarn over and chain one to close it. Then we're going to work into the next stitch in the back loop only. We're going to single crochet and in the next stitch we're going to back loop only single crochet as well but we're going to use the last yarn over to change our colors and we're going back to that lighter color again to finish that stitch and now we're about to create our last toe and again we're working back under both loops of the stitch and we're going to place four double crochets into that stitch 
There's one. Now, when, again, when you get to your fourth stitch, you don't want to finish it until you are ready to use that last color or change your color for the last yarn over. So I've got my second color and I'm doing the last yarn over of that last stitch in the new color. Again, pull that loop up, insert your hook from front to back through that first stitch, pick up your working loop and pull it through your stitch and yarn over and chain one. Now for the rest of the round, you're going to work back loop only single crochet until the end of the round. And then I'll pause after I finish these last few stitches and I'll show you what your foot should look like at this point. So at, now that we have finished with round five here, this is what your project should look like. You've got the two different colors and you've got these really cute little popcorn toes. So if you have any comments or questions, I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. And please consider subscribing to this channel. If you're looking for the full crochet pattern for Trevor the Triceratops, you can find it on my blog, thelupylam.com, or as an ad-free PDF version in both of my shops, both Ravelry and Etsy. Thanks so much for watching, friends, and happy hooking.